Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be starting off using a picture frame. I have used this for another project so I've got a glass that doesn't quite fit. These are all spares from other projects but we're going to put them all together. You're going to start by removing these little clips at the back and you can do that with your pliers. Let's set this aside for a little while and we're going to be using a mould. So I'm going to go with probably, let's see actually, <laughs> I thought I was going to go with that one there but let me bring this back. What you want to do is make sure that the mould fits the area that you're going to be working on. So I'm just going to have one at the top there and I actually do think the first one goes the best. So you can use clay, I always use hot glue when I'm using my moulds, it's just really quick and easy, it's also super cheap. So you're going to grab your hot glue if you are using hot glue that is, and you're going to fill your mould, make sure you get into all of the little cracks as well. Once you've finished you set this aside just to cure for maybe I think two to three minutes should do. So I'm covering the entire mould with my hot glue and that's set done so set that aside just to be productive we're going to go back to working on the frame so turn your frame around and your glass is obviously going to fit better than mine as I mentioned these are all just spares from other projects so I'm going to glue this down and you want to use um, hot glue or E6000 so I'm going all around the frame so that we can secure the glass down. Now you're going to keep your frame this way around and you want to grab a napkin. I'm going to use this floral oil because I'm going obviously with shabby chic as the theme in this video. So I have removed, this is already something I have worked with, so I have removed the inner layers and then I'm going to take a few pieces you want to do this just with your fingers, not scissors. If you're new, this is called decoupage, where you use napkins to decorate things. One of my favourite techniques, actually. And I'm going to just ensure that I get as much excess napkin off as possible. I always recommend using a napkin with a white background, it just always works better. This one's pink. Okay, so there's one piece done. Then you're going to grab your glue and you have to use Mod Podge. PVA is quite thick, it doesn't work very well with your napkin. And this is matte, if it will come out. I don't have much of it so I'll keep using glass but I really wanted matte for this one. And I'm actually going to be doing reverse decoupage. So usually you'll put it on this way, but we're going to put it on where the design is. And you want to put a really thin layer on. Just enough to kind of get it to stick onto the glass. Okay. Being very gentle, this is obviously a napkin. Super thin and delicate. I'm going to place it right here and then just tap it down and then you're going to make a few more because you want to cover as much as you want on the glass so I'm going to do the exact same thing and just get a few of these so I can stick them down I'm also putting in some smaller flowers because I don't want it looking all the same. Now we're done with the napkin decoupage part. You can bring back your mould and it would have definitely dried by now. So we're going to pop that out. And this is how it looks. Pretty neat, right? So I've gone and took my scissors and just cut off 
any excess hot glue. So we're going to paint this and we're going to attach it to the top with our glue and I'm just going to use hot glue again, hot glue on hot glue, I know. And I think I'm going to go with this colour here by Arteza Playful Pink. It's a beautiful iridescent colour. And I'm really impatient so this is wet at the moment but I'm going to just take my glue and stick it on to the frame. Right in the centre. If you thought we're done, nope, you're, you're wrong, we've got a little bit more to go. So I'm taking my stencil here, this is one of my favourite stencils. Let's see, it's Pranti Crafts by Jolanda Dironde. I hope I've said that right. Anyway, it's a stencil in A5 size. Okay, so you're going to put your frame this way towards the back. You're going to take, oh that fits perfectly, I'm so happy with that. You're going to take your stencil and then what you need is something called modelling paste and a little tool like this. I mean you don't really need this, you can use a butter knife for example, but you do need this modelling paste. Acrylic paint won't work the same, trust me. I've done it, I've tried it. <laughs> and we're going to press the stencil down and take our modelling paste. You're going to go through the stencil like this with your tool. Almost feels like you're icing a cake. I'm just going to pull that down to hold it in place while I get a little bit more. And of course we're going to cover the whole thing. And now you're done, you're going to gently lift your stencil and look at the magic you've just created. Of course you're going to let this dry but let's just turn it around, look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? And the next two DIYs are going to be really fairly quick and easy. So I'm taking this thrifted candle holder and I've taken this rose which I have dried and I have had a few people ask me how I dry them. Certain flowers like baby's breath just dry wonderfully naturally. Roses dry very well naturally as well so all I do is get them out of the vase and I place them on top of a radiator or I hang them upside down just to dry naturally. So this here I have sprinkled with a little bit of white paint, you can see the splatter, just wanted to add a little bit something to it and I'm going to be sticking this on the side here and I'm going to do that just with my, you guessed it, uh -huh glue. Then I'm going to be using this bow which I actually saved from a pyjama set so <laughs> just save everything that you can, it will come in handy. And these are so much better than me trying to make a bow myself. Stick that there and that's it, I'm done with decorating this one. Now another quick project, I'm just going to be taking a jar. And I'm going to be filling it up with some flowers, all in the shabby chic colours. I've got these really beautiful ones from Zadil. I'll leave the link in the description box. They're so beautiful, I love them. What I'm going to do is add my fairy lights in first. This is a warm light one. I prefer the warm light one. And then go ahead, take your flowers and place them inside your jar.
And here's all three projects together. They look beautiful. I also think they look pretty alone. But it just goes to show you don't always have to make something elaborate. I mean, the first DIY was a bit longer, but the other two are very quick and simple and it just doesn't take much to put something beautiful together. And there you have it. Some really lovely shabby chic decor. I hope that you have enjoyed watching. Please leave me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye.